Azure Vaccine Headquarters, we're working to get the answers you need. Today, Emily Bloom spoke with one local woman who shares her struggle. Lorraine Thorpe was ready for the vaccine the day it came out. Over the past few weeks, she's tried every way she can to get it, but now she's feeling defeated and at a total loss for what to do next. I'm not paranoid, I'm very cautious. That's how Thorpe has been navigating the past year of quarantine, but the moment the vaccine was approved, she was ready. I thought, great, I'm, I'm signing up. Fast forward a few weeks later, and she's struggling to do just that. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten phone numbers here. Not always do I get through, but I have ten phone numbers that I have called. When she's able to get through, she's either told they don't have the vaccine, they're not taking appointments, or she's put on a wait list. I've been put on a couple lists, but I've been put on one list for probably a week and a half and no calls. Thorpe also recognizes she doesn't have the access that many others do. Seniors do not have that ability to go online. Some do, I, I will give them that credit, but I think a majority of seniors, it's a mystery to them. But she hasn't let that discourage her efforts. So I've been researching my own. I've been pretty proactive, haven't I? There are many in this exact same position, and some are turning towards their community centers for answers, but they're having trouble as well. And just when you think you can, you hear of a place that has vaccines, you call, you go, you, it's, and then they're out. Lori Throwbridge works at the Southside Community Center and acknowledges it's even difficult to get connected to the people in places that should have the answers. The um, Department of Health for Washington State, again, calls are hard to get through, if at all. They've done all they can to support their seniors. Everybody is having a hard time. As for Thorpe, she is up to speed on the Spokane Arena vaccination site that's opening later this week. Like they say, you can't get an appointment till Wednesday, and yet the Veterans Arena opens on Wednesday. So what time should you go online to find out? We're hoping the mass vaccination site opening at the Spokane Arena later this week will provide much more opportunity in the months ahead.